I think, look, I, I do think the holidays are a time where we can stress ourselves out because we want to do everything. And I right. think it's actually much better for you to pick the things that you love to do or that you already do well, focus on those, and let your friend Grant or your sister or whomever or right. the pie baker at your at your shop, right, give you the pie, and then you do this little zhuzh work on top so that it looks... It looks like homemade. It looks homemade. Oh, I sweat for hours. <laughs> <laughs> you put a little extra effort on top, a little extra love, and I am so excited to show you these three hacks. I think you're going to love them. And truthfully, the first one gets to my heart because I do think that chocolate is devastatingly underrepresented at the holidays. I agree. Devastatingly so. <laughs> All right, what do we do to oh. make the chocolate pie? Okay, so here, we're gonna do it really simply. Obviously, you could break out the double boiler, melt your chocolate that way. We are gonna do that microwave method that you've all used. Everyone has chocolate chips in their pantry. I have chocolate chips here with about a cup of heavy cream, and this is gonna go into a microwave three minutes, stirring every, well, two, three minutes, stirring every oh, 30 seconds. Oh, look at seconds. that, Daphne, it's done. Et voila. Voila. <laughs> now, here's the only important part. You want to put it on top of a cool pie because if you put it on a warm pie, it gets a little sloppy. Can I slather? Please, slather. That's the dream. All right. Oh, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. Ridiculous. And it, you know what? The cream is really what gives it that glossy, like, candy coat look. Mm. And then, just to gild the lily and give it a little va-va-voom, some flaked sea salt oh right on top. Oh my God, you just did it. <laughs> salt bay. You had me at salt. <laughs> you had me at sea salt. And for me, this is the kind of thing oh. where the more rustic it is, the more sort of like layered and luscious like this. That looks Delicious. like Delicious. And then you get chocolate with your pumpkin pie. All right, what's next? Okay, so this is another one that I love. You guys like pecan pie maybe? My husband, it's John's favorite, actually, it's, pecan pie. Oh, yep. it's so good. So here's the deal. Pecan pie, for me, it's all about those candied pecans, obviously, and that amazing caramel. And, of course, pumpkin pie is delicious. So we're going to sort of give them a baby. You're going to do a mashup. This is their love child. It's their love child. It's happening. And it's so simple because all you're doing is really making a very quick caramel. So I've got about two tablespoons of butter, un unsalted butter there, some light brown sugar. A little bit of cream. A little bit of cream little bit of granulated sugar, stir that up, and you're gonna let it boil like it is here for a couple minutes, throw and then the throw in, in your pecans. You know Perfect. what, this is so much, actually, I like this mashup better, because pecan pie can sometimes be too sweet too, for well, people. Yes, too yep. sweet, and also, you know, again, like another big, long process. This is gonna take you five minutes. And, and you, you just have, throw it on top of the pecan look, pie? I mean, that by itself, you kinda wanna stick your face in it. Oh my this, God. This goes right on top here. And that just, is ridiculous. <laughs> And you just want to work quickly so that it work spreads. Work still warm. Yeah, let's kill your stove. Here, you go on this side. I'll keep mushing this around. It's and if gorgeous. you want to throw a little salt on there, too, you can. Here is a way to do sort of a creme brulee topping on top of your pumpkin pie. And this takes a little bit of extra delicacy. Because I may actually like dessert what? after all. <laughs> Who get, knew? Get out your little blowtorch. And don't go too close, because you don't want burnt sugar. You just want it to start to uh, caramelize and get that, and see how it's turning that These golden brown. These little mini torches, you will feel like such a bad <laughs> Really, buy one. They're so fun. They're oh so God. fun. They're ridiculous. I have a giant one, actually. I love it. What else do you do with your mini blow? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, okay. I love it okay, so but much. Check it. See how it's see getting there? Look, like See, this? it's all, like, delicious okay. looking. And now, while it's still melting and bubbly, you throw on some toasted pepitas. So you get like kind of a crunchy topping. And ta-da! Ta All right. <laughs>